हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज क्लास सिक्स हनी सकल बुक पोएम टू द काइट एंड दिस इज गोइंग टू बी आर लेक्चर वन ऑफ द पोएम द काइट हियर द पोएट ऑफ द पोएम द काइट इज हेरी बेन हेरी बेन वॉज एन अमेरिकन स्क्रीन राइटर एंड चिल्ड्रंस ऑथर he was involved in writing scenes and continuities for a number of screen plays including the war film the big parade in 1925 and hell's angels he graduated from howard university in 1922 here he explains the beautiful poem the kite in such a way the poet has drawn a beautiful picture of the flying kite through words in his, in this poem he has written such words means the movements the movements he described of the kite he used such words for the movement of the kite in such words that brings the imaginary picture into the minds of the readers we all love to see flying kites but never noticed how it flies through this beautiful word picture of a flying kite the poet is just persuading the readers to fly one and notice its beautiful moves the moves which are being described by the poet in the poem let us begin with the poem with a simple question All of us like to fly kites. Have you ever tried to fly one? If not, please this is my request. Please fly a kite. Read this poem about a kite as it flies in the sky. There are many movements which are being described by the poet that the kite ma- makes or the kite takes when it is being flown by the person or any child. let us start with the poem here you can see the beautiful colorful uh, kite which is being flown by a child in the sky the kite itself makes the sky very beautiful means it enhances the beauty of the sky which is already a very which is which is already a natural beauty so kite adds on to the du- beauty of the sky Let's begin with the poem. How bright on the blue is a kite when it's new. New. Blue means sky here means the kite looks very bright when it is being blown in the sky. When a new beautiful and colorful kite is being blown, it makes the sky more beautiful or brighter than before with a dive and a dip it snaps its tail dive means downwards dip means to lift these are the movements which are being made by the kite when dive and dip movements are being made by the kite the kite snaps its tail snaps here means here it moves its tail when these movements are being made by the kite in the sky then soars like a ship with only a sail then it soars soars means it rises like a ship as a ship rises when many tides tides means waves are there in the ocean or the sea when a ship rises like a ship rises in the sea in the same way the kite also rises in the wind here the kite has been compared with a ship with only a sail here sail means a large piece of strong cloth which gives direction to a ship here string has been string of kite has been compared to a sail and kite has been compared to a ship means the kite rises in the sky like a ship 
goes in goes on the surface of water with only a sail sail is a cloth which is used to give direction and here the string gives direction to the kite as over tide of wind it rides as the ship rides over tide tide means as i told you earlier these are the waves as ship rides over the waves of the sea in the same way the kite rides over the rides in the wind climbs to the crest of a gust and pulls here the kite cl climbs to the crest crest means the highest point of a gust gust is a sudden brief rush of wind with a sudden brief rush of wind the kite can go to the highest point of the sky and pulls pulls with the help of string then seems to rest as wind falls as soon as the wind stops or the wind falls the kite appears to us as if it is taking rest in the sky it is not moving it is taking rest in the sky when string goes slack you wind it back here slack means loose means when the string goes loose when you fly the kite when the string goes loose you wind it back you wind the string back here wind does not mean air here wind means encircle you encircle the string back in the instrument in the tool which you have in your hand and run until a new breeze blows you run after the kite until and unless a new breeze blows and fills you with a new hope that the kite can again be flown in the sky and its wings fill and up it goes means it is there again in the sky when a new wind blows filling the wings of the kite with the air again until and unless a new breeze is blown or a new breeze blows in the sky and it fills the wings of the string it goes and up it goes you keep on trying to make it go to make the kite go into the sky how bright on the blue is a kite when it's new the blue means the sky looks more beautiful than before when a new beautiful or colorful kite is being flown in the sky that beautiful or colorful kite adds to the beauty of the sky which already has its natural beauty but a regular thing you never will see regular means rough or the thing which makes you unhappy or bad thing the thing which makes you unhappy that you never want to see or you never will see when it flaps on a string in the top of a tree means when the kite entangles on a string in the top of a tree or the when or when the kite gets struck on the top of a tree, of a tree it can be torn or it can get torn when you pull your string back to you at that time the kite can be torn that is the thing which can make you unhappy now i would like to tell you the summary of the same poem a new kite looks bright when the sky is clear and blue the kite takes a plunge and bends sideways its tail produces a cracking noise then suddenly the kite rises high like a ship with a sail cloth the kite has only one sail of string 
it rides over the strong winds and climbs to their top like a ship it pulls forward when the wind is strong but as the wind falls it also rests for a while when the thread tied to the kite becomes loose the flyer rolls the thread back then again the flyer runs until the kite is filled with the wind and goes up on a clear blue sky the new kite shines but it gets torn badly when it flaps on the tree top now this is the time to assign you homework kindly solve this exercise either in book or rough notebook list out the action words in the poem i have explained you many action words which are being made by the kite dive dip snaps three words are given here you need to write other five words question 2 read these lines from the poem then soars like a ship with only a sail i told you here the kite has been compared with a ship that how the kite goes into the sky or in the blue like a ship so here you the movement of the tailless kite is compared to a ship with a sail this is called a simile can you suggest what or who the following actions may be compared to he runs like he eats like she sings like it shines like it flies like then there is an activity that you need to do kindly make a kite using origami sheet glue and thread in your english notebook then thereafter we will begin with the new words and question answers now let's discuss the homework which i assigned you in last class of chapter 2 how the dog found himself a new master actually this was the homework which was left in last class to be discussed read the following passage and do the exercises that follow then complete the family tree of dogs given after the passage the passage is the dog family the dog family is one of the 11 families that make up the carnivores a large group of intelligent flesh eating backbone animals in this group are such varied animals as bears pandas raccoons cats hyenas and even seal the dog or canine family has many wild species like wolves foxes coyotes jackals and wild dogs the dog is the only domesticated member of the canine family though now and then someone tames a wolf fox or coyote as a pet all members of the dog family are descendants of a wolf like animal which lived about 15 million years ago from this distant ancestor the true dogs gradually developed but nobody knows the exact ancestor of the modern domestic dog several wild dogs look and behave like domestic dogs The dingo or wild dogs of Australia is one of these. It is possible that the dingo was a tame dog brought to Australia long ago which then ran wild. Dogs were the first animals tamed by humans perhaps 20000 years ago. Tamed dogs were brought from Asia to the New World. 5000 or more years ago dogs were first used for hunting number 1 now answer the questions find the opposites of these words in the text above ancestor its opposite is descendant wild tame ancient modern near distant suddenly gradually number 2 is complete the following sentences 
Here, first part, the dingo is a wild dog. Number two, dogs were the first animals tamed by humans. The other animals tamed by humans are horses, cows, elephants and donkeys. Number three, the new world refers to America. Dogs were brought there from Asia. This is a family tree of dogs that you need to fill. Family tree of dogs. Number one is carnivorous means the flesh eating or meat eating animals. These are six in number. Seal, panda, raccoon, bear, hyena, dog. These are of two types wild and domesticated. Domesticated dogs are those which are kept at home or which are tamed animals. Next is wild. Wild are of five types wolf, fox, coyote, jackal and wild dog itself. Thank you so much.